by the end of this video you are going to have a complete understanding of how you can use perplexity ai to do your research related tasks we are going to learn about all the features this ai tool has to offer and also their different use cases also if you're interested in learning how to build your own custom ai models do check out the generative ai and prompt engineering course the link is available in the description now without any further ado let me open the perplexity.ai website and get started with its in-depth exploration a quick tip guys if you want to save all the queries that you're prompting into perplexity ai make sure to sign up to the website i have already signed up so that we don't get to waste our much of the time Perplexity AI has access to popular LLMs like GPT-4 and some of the popular search engines like Google and Safari, providing us with the real-time information to our related search query. As you can see that this is a search area. Underneath this, we get to see focus and attach option. The unique fact about focus is that you will not find it into any other chatbot application. Now, what is focus? For narrowing down the search result, we can use focus. For example, if you want to get specific result regarding anything related to academics, writing, discussion, we can use focus for better responses. Inside focus, we have six segments, all academics, writing, Wolfram Alpha, videos, and Reddit. We use all for general related search across the internet. We have academics for any kind of academic related queries. Then there is this writing for helping you formulate any kind of content or for drafting an email. If you want to search any mathematical computation, then we have Wolfram Alpha. If you prefer visual understanding for any of your queries, you can refer the video section. And lastly, if you want to ask query to the Reddit community, then you can select the Reddit section. Next to focus, we have attach option, another excellent feature of Perplexity AI. You can upload any of your documents, text and image and ask question related to it. It will give you the answer in the exact format you want to. On the left hand side, we can see that we have new thread, home, discover and library. Talking about the threads, they are the individual conversation which allow user to manage and keep record of the previous conversation. To start a new conversation, you can go to the home section. To get yourself updated with all the ongoing news and trends, you can go to the discover section. And lastly, we have this library section where you can view your previous search records. On the top center, we can see the option of collection. This helps you to group the related threads for further modification, making it very simple to manage and find your conversation. Now let's quickly see the demonstration part. If I give a prompt, say, what is the land chain? Publicity AI has provided us with the complete summary of what land chain is, which every mile you detail. Here you can see I got the video links. You can click on them if you want to visually understand about your prompt and even list down the various websites from where the information is coming. We can even ask follow-up question. For example, in my prompt, I can ask, how can I build my own custom model using Langchain? And just like that, you can get access to all the resources, videos, and you're good to go. Now, if you want to save your conversation, you can go and click on collection. Give a title to your collection and description, and if required, save it. If you want to view it later, you can go to the library section. Lastly, to create a new conversation, you can create a thread and can ask your queries, say what makes Langchain unique and you get your results. That's all from my side. If you like this video, then I would request you guys to go and hit the both like and subscribe button for the IntelliParse YouTube channel. Thank you.